Okay, I want to talk real quickly about what the discount rate is, okay? Um, you're going to see us talk about the discount rate. You may have heard uh, news talking about the discount rate, sometimes called the overnight loan rate. But the discount rate is the rate of interest from the Fed to banks. So sometimes, and I've mentioned this in other videos, but sometimes banks need more money. And so the Federal Reserve, also called the Fed, the Fed is there to make sure banks all have enough money to keep the economic system going. So if banks see businesses or people that they'd like to give money to because they think it's a good investment and they need money, they might ask the Fed. Well, the Fed is going to charge the banks an interest rate, and the banks will charge people an interest rate. So let's say the Fed charges 2% interest to banks. So if, and we'll say that on a million dollars, so let's say on a million dollars, the Fed charges a 2% interest rate, right? And the bank wants to give this, let's say this person comes in and wants to start a business and it's a great idea and the bank believes in them and the bank wants to give this person a million dollars. So the bank gives the person a million bucks and the bank, let's say, charges the person, let's say, 7%, okay? So the Fed loans the banks money and the banks loan the people money. Now, the banks don't always need to borrow money from the Fed, but they can if they want. And so, if the Fed decides to lower the interest rate, let's say they lower the interest rate, let's say, to 1%. Well, that means that the banks can start charging people less money, let's say 6%. So again, in both cases, whether it's 2% and 7% or 1% and 6%, the banks are still making a profit and people are still getting money and businesses are still getting money so they can go out and invest and start their firms and start selling their products and really make and hire workers and let the economy go. So this is the backdrop to it. The discount rate, the Fed giving the banks money at an interest rate, and then the banks giving people money at interest is part of the backstop. And so the lower, and so what we see is um, if the Fed raises the discount rate, that slows the economy, right? We, in fact, call that contractionary. That's going to contract the economy. If the Fed lowers the discount rate, that's going to speed up the economy because, as we know, and you learn from your interest rate videos, the lower the interest rates, the more incentive it is to borrow money because it's cheaper to borrow. The higher the interest rates, the less we want to borrow and that means it slows the economy down because that's fewer stuff being bought, fewer cars being bought, fewer businesses being started, fewer capital goods being bought. So the higher the, the interest rate, it's contractionary. The lower, we call it expansionary, mon we call it monetary policy. Expansionary monetary policy. There's lots of monetary policy. One of them is changing the discount rate. And again, the discount rate is the rate at which the Fed charges banks for money and the banks loan that money to people. So we can contract or we can expand using our discount rates.